Hey everyone, back again with another video where here are some of the powdered supplements that I take on the daily, where not only can you save a lot of money by buying them in bulk powder, but you can also encapsulate these to get more bang for the buck for nutrition. Now, when I say encapsulate, I'm not referring to putting them into pills, okay, where my wife and I also take various sorts of capsules and pills. But here I'm talking about combining these powders with a fat source, which will allow for the fat to travel to the liver. And supplements delivered through the liver are much more effective than the gut. So here I'm going to encapsulate some glutathione, where I encapsulate a variety of powders which I keep here in the refrigerator in 16 ounce brown glass jars. So today I used up the last bit of my glutathione where these other bottles contain vitamin C, um, carnitine, okay, L-carnitine, and L-carnosine. Now the fat source I prefer is organic sunflower lecithin powder which I'm sure you can find at any local health food store where I just order mine on Amazon. And the first tools that you'll need is a glass measuring cup, which holds at least two cups and one 16 ounce bottle. That of course, you want to clean before you make the batch. Now of course use clean filtered water where I simply fill up the bottle a little under to allow for the powder. And then I'm going to transfer this to my glass measuring cup. Glug, 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 Now we're going to microwave this for only about 30 seconds to get it a little warm to help with the dissolving of the powdered lecithin and the supplement. Now as that water is warming up, we're going to take two rounded tablespoons of this lecithin and we're going to put it into a blender dry. Now get the water and check it just to make sure it's a little lukewarm. It's fine. And I'm going to pour half or less than half into the lecithin. And then I'm going to take the water and the blender over to my other workstation here, where I'm simply going to hit the blender on low to mix this up a little bit. And then just kind of let it sit and let the fat dissolve while I'm preparing the supplement in the rest of the warm water. So here I'm simply going to zero out my scale. And here I'm going to add 16 grams of supplement powder because the jar holds 16 ounces. That way I know that a one ounce serving will give me 1000 milligrams of supplement or one half ounce, 500 milligrams. Now, after you've added the supplement, you want to stir it because it will take several minutes to completely dissolve. And I use these cool little glass stirring rods, which I purchased on Amazon along with the glass beaker that I use with my Tac Life Sonic Cleaner. Links in the description. Now, as that's dissolving, I'm going to take two. 164th teaspoon of pure sucralose powder and add them to the jar. And I also buy this at bulk supplements. It's not Splenda, it's just pure sucralose. Very strong, very powerful. Now also, I like to add flavorings where I make other things using various flavorings like yogurt and protein bars where here I'm going to add some vanilla to the glutathione with a little bit of sweetener. So I do here a cap. Where a capful is plenty for my taste. Now next we're going to add the completely dissolved supplement to the completely dissolved lecithin. And we're going to blend this on high for about one minute. Now next, the solution is finished blending where I'm going to add it to this glass beaker, which I purchased specific to the size of my sonic cleaner. So we're going to set the glass beaker in the reservoir of the sonic cleaner 
and then fill up the reservoir of the cleaner to the fill line. Now this cleaner only goes up to 480 seconds, which is eight minutes. And we're going to run this four consecutive times, stirring occasionally in between. Where here is the finish of round one where there's still quite a significant amount of foam, which over the next three courses will dissipate. And that's the goal. Round two. So all that's left is to transfer it to the glass jar, which contains the sucralose and the flavoring. And because we used the bottle to measure the original water when we return the finished product to the bottle, it will be perfect. It will not be too much. It will not be too little. And that's it. Cap it. You can shake it a little bit and then return it to the refrigerator. And here I have a little shot glass, which is a one ounce measure, which I could use to measure each dose, whether I wanted a full ounce or a half an ounce.